Hey, what's going on guys? Max Style Kim here, back to you guys with another tutorial. And today I'm gonna to teach you how to make a very nice, clean, professional thumbnail without Photoshop whatsoever. It's a complete free and it's very nice and it's a great alternative to Photoshop. So basically as you can see here, it's GIMP and you go to GIMP.org, click downloads over here. Now the site already knows that I'm using a Mac, so it automatically tells me for the download but with mac uh you're gonna have to use a different download so if you're on mac you can't um there's gonna be a link uh media fire in the description right now you click that instead of coming to this website if you're a microsoft user if you're a microsoft windows pc you click microsoft windows pc uh microsoft windows and you click download directly uh download gimp 2.8.14 directly you download it make sure you decline all the sponsorships because then it'll start uploading uh downloading it'll start downloading random uh things onto your computer so make sure you read carefully when it gets to the sponsorships as you're installing make sure you decline everything i already have it so i can't necessarily show you but um basically it's going to look like this or it's going to have a black background either one it's just depending on what version you have for mac users it might most likely will look like this for uh, pc um and will have probably a black background regardless it's the same exact thing now first you're going to go to file and new and you're going to put this in 1280 and 720 and usually i keep it on white so it's nice clean quick uh, for the background press ok now this is your choice um i'm not gonna do i'm gonna do my option um but i'm gonna give you two options for your background you can either make it a photo you can make it a photo or you can make it um like a gradient uh kind of color or solid color um it really depends on what you want if you want um a different uh different background like let's say black ops 2 like i have over here i'll click and drag and it'll just automatically put it right on there and then you could adjust it by using the move option over here use that i can adjust it and like that but i'm not going to use that i'm going to you click delete over here at the trash can or right click but i'm going to use the gradient effect or you could use a solid color by using the paint bucket put a solid color and then do whatever you want um but i'm gonna use a gradient and for this tutorial i'm gonna be using um i'm gonna make the thumbnail for this video so how to make a thumbnail for a thing so i'm gonna make the background let's make it purple a light purple and then a darker purple this is how you make the gradient by the way make it a darker purple and then with this gradient, click this tool right here. You get your blend options, what color you want to what color. And you could change um, the shape. I usually like to go with red radical because it looks nice. Um, so you have to click and drag to get the perfect thing. You can see it changing lighter to darker. I'm not really liking it because I need a lighter purple. But you can always change it to your liking. Okay, so I'm liking that, so I'm gonna keep it like that. Now we're gonna get our the gradient tool and we're gonna get our text. So for your text, this is gonna be a little difficult, so make sure you pay attention, pause the video if you need to. You're gonna click the text tool and you're gonna make a really big box. Almost to each corner of the thing, leave it about halfway. So, I'm going to type in how to make a thumbnail without Photoshop. There we go. I'm going to have that. To change the color, you click and drag. So, it's highlights. Come here. And I'm going to make it white. And for this purpose, I'm going to use this font right here. I'm gonna make it bigger, make it bigger, keep making it bigger until that's a little too big. Now what I what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna adjust this. I'm gonna do without oh no I can't do that. 
So I'm actually gonna leave it out like that. How to make a thumbnail without Photoshop. That's the concept. You can also adjust this so like you can make the thing uh, more spread out. Um, but you're gonna have to click and drag, my fault. You can make it more spread out. I'm putting this over here. Make it more spread out. Whatever you gotta do. You could adjust it all like that. Um, but I'm gonna keep it like that. So I'm gonna keep it like that. Now, what you're gonna do, here's the tricky part. If you want either, I'm gonna show you two different ways to do this. One is to have kind of like a drop shadow. Um, with a drop shadow, all you have to do, well, well for both, I'm gonna do an outline and the drop shadow. With the outline, um, we're gonna go a new layer. Make sure it's transparent as well. And you're gonna merge this layer down so right click and then click merge then you want to right click on the how the text go alpha to selection select grow and make it however big you want it let's say we let's say we're gonna put a four yeah let's go four we grew it by four now you're gonna make another layer transparent as well Put it down underneath go to your bucket and whatever you want your outline to be i'm going to make it black for this purpose you could zoom in a little get it in between so it's like that it's a nice clean outline all right then you're going to put this is the most important part after this you're going to press select after you get your outline and then none you have to do that almost every single time you do alpha to selection or else when you do something it'll get all funky now let's say I don't want the outline, which I'm gonna use a drop shadow. So what you do, you have this layer right here, you can rename it to drop shadow or outline. Drop shadow slash outline. And, oh, I didn't even rename it, whatever. So then you're gonna go to filters, go to blur, Gaussian and usually I like to get it around like 30 to 30 to 40, sometimes 20. Um, I like it like that so it's like kind of like a blur so then it looks like a drop shadow like that and then you can also adjust it so the drop shadow is like goes underneath the text go to the corner of the text whatever uh, you want for this purpose I'm gonna put it down like that now now your thumbnail is almost pretty much done now it looks kind of boring so what are we gonna do we're gonna add a picture so we're gonna add a new layer transparent of course and put it under everything but the background now let's go online and let's come here and I'm gonna get uh, a GIMP GIMP logo transparent so get one of the GIMP logos I'm gonna save image as put on my desktop put it down here and then I'm gonna click and drag to put it on top. Sometimes you don't need the layer, it really depends, but sometimes you don't, sometimes you do. And it automatically made a new layer for me. Depending on how you want your little picture, if you're having a picture or making, I would suggest a picture, because pictures are nice. But um, now I'm just rotating it. Um, how you do the rotating button, you know, I'm gonna put it this direction. You click this button right here, you click this, and you rotate it with this. And to largen it and scale it, make it bigger or smaller, you, you click this right here, this button, the two boxes with the arrow, click the picture, press command or control, depending on what uh, computer you're on, what operating you're on, and then you just drag. So I'm gonna make it, I made it about that big. If I really wanted to get fancy, I could have put the Photoshop logo and then put a big X over it or whatever. I'm actually going to make it a little tiny bit bigger because it looks a little too small compared to the text. And we'll put a little more curve to it. Like that. And then adjust. And there you have it, guys. So there is a thumbnail. You could put this on top if you wanted to. 
um i kind of like it better on top it really depends personal personal preference these are all the layers basically you did that in like five layers because not including the layer that you merged down into the text that's like five layers right there that's amazing uh five layers very simple very it looks very clean looks nice you just gotta make sure you get a nice bold text then how you export it you go to file you go export as and then you would go to your wherever you want to put it. Let's say I put it on my desktop. Make it as a PGN. And I'm just gonna put how to make a. I like to abbreviate how to make a thumbnail without Photoshop. There. I like to abbreviate sometimes. Whoopsies. Um. So then save it. However you export, you could just leave all that like that as well. Export all of this. And there you have it. Uh, if I drop that down, click here. Now you have a nice looking thumbnail. It looks nice. It looks clean. It looks professional. It does not look boring. It's It looks poppy. And it looks neat. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you enjoyed and if you learned something and if you made your own thumbnail, make sure you tell me down, down in the comment section. But anyway, guys, make sure you stay maxed out. Peace out.